Every week we upload a new video for our show Copycat, which is always based on a trending topic. If a new music video gets released on Wednesday, we have our video done by Friday. That's because we only need three days to fully produce a copycat video. That means finding a topic, trying out the idea, building a set, shooting both the skit and the behind the scenes, writing out the tutorial scripts, screen capture, and finally edit it all together. We do that with a team of four people, one of which is Timo, the video editor. We always make jokes about the many tools he always uses, such as the Loop Deck CT and some plugins for Premiere, but it allows him to not only work faster, but also more efficient as well. So, uh, jokes on us. <laughs> Now, Loop Deck is sponsoring this video, however, Timo has always been using the Loop Deck for a much longer time, so we can generally share his experiences. Or, I'm gonna do that, because he's a little bit camera shy. Step number one, Timo starts with shooting B-roll, which afterwards needs to look for the best shots. Now, instead of going through every shot individually, he just throws it all into a timeline. He then plays back the footage at a fast pace. The jog wheel on the Loop Deck CT really helps with that, as you can go back and forward really fast. Next, using the Ripple, trim delete short key he cuts away any trash you can set that short key from within premiere pro itself it's going to cut a clip then remove a part and close the gap three actions and one key hit the presentations that we do here in the studio work the exact same we tend to say a lot of things wrong and have to restart a sentence multiple times but how can we choose the material choose which material blah, blah, blah. can we choose which material material now by looking at the audio waveforms you can find similarities which indicates that a sentence has been repeated. Timo looks for those visuals and can instantly skip a few parts to cut them away without having to play the actual clip. Step number two, labeling. As there are different parts within the video, like B-roll, sponsor segment, presentation, and whatnot, it's important to give those parts different color labels. Now, what's nice about the Loop Deck CT is that you can choose your own icons. Either you create them yourself, or you browse through the different icon packs that the Loop Deck Marketplace provides. This is something new, by the way. You can also find button layouts and plugins in here. Loop Deck keeps expanding this marketplace so that you can always find something new in here. But this gives a great overview view on his loop deck to which color label to choose. Now, funny enough, he even has a funny button to label parts in which we make a joke. I, I try to be silly a lot. Now, Timo uses these funny parts to create breaks in an edit, which helps with the whole editing pace. Labeling gives you an instant overview and allows you to quickly find what you need. By the way, after a feedback round, we label the parts that needs to be adjusted in red. Eventually, we want to make sure that there are no red clips left in the edit. Step number three, once your footage is cut up and all your good clips are selected, you open up two timelines. On top, the one which are selected clips, and down below, the one where you will assemble everything. This technique is called pancake editing, by the way. In this way, you can easily switch between the two, find the clips that you want, and just drag them to your assembly timeline. This will make a copy, however. So it's best to cut and paste the clips. Or, of course, use the loop deck and simply press one button to cut and another to paste. Everyone should use shortcuts. It's perhaps one of the most ultimate tips to save time while editing. Pro editors like Timo. <laughs> okay, Timo wrote the text. Now, they never take their hands off the keyboard or the Loop Deck CT, which kind of replaces the keyboard. Now, the Loop Deck has the ability to add shortcuts of multiple keystrokes into one button. These are called macros. Macros are instructions to make the Loop Deck perform a list of things just by pressing a single button. Now, for example, you often create a slow motion at 50%. So instead of clicking on the clip, choosing speed, duration, typing 50%, and then clicking enter, Loop Deck can all do this in one press of a button. Now, to create something like this, you just click add macro in the Loop Deck configuration software. Your first action will be the shortcut Control R, which is the standard shortcut for opening up speed duration. Then we add another action and choose text. We type in the percentage that we want to slow down a clip. And the next action we add is the return button. And voila! Select your clip, click the slow mo button, and you're done. Now, these shortcuts don't always have to be macros. You can link every normal shortcut to a button on the Loop Deck as well, no limitations. Now, additionally, Timo uses a paid plugin called Excalibur from the Knights of the Editing Table. You can enter a key combination such as Shift Space, and it opens up a console in which you can type the name of an effect and hit Enter, and the effect is applied. Now, you can make presets which contain a couple of effects, and by using a shortcut, all of the effects are applied to that clip. Now, with the Loop Deck, you can label these shortcuts so that you can easily see what preset that you're looking for. Timo likes using footage from movies or shows during the copycat episodes to emphasize a moment. 
I'm good at it. These are called cutaways. So he has a button for that called cutaway, which scales up the background clip, adds Gaussian blur and a noise effect. This takes less than a second versus searching the effects, clicking the effects, you, you, you get the drill. But even without the Excalibur plugin, you could make it yourself easier by instantly summoning that effect that you use the most. Create a new macro function and add the window effect action to it, add tap twice, and then add a text action containing the effect that you want, for instance, Gosh and blur. All right, step number four, the editing is done. Now comes the color grading. We have a preset for every camera that we use at Cinecom. This is mostly a Rec. 709 LUT with some small tweaks. Of course, we have to go through every clip individually as well. You know, you can change the layout of the loop deck CT to color grading and start using the dials now to quickly perform a color correction. If you want to reset an adjustment, simply press the dial. They are also buttons. At the same time, you can jump to the next clip and correct it again. The entire process does not take longer than half an hour for the entire project. And this brings us to the final step, audio mixing. Now make sure that every person sits on a different audio track. Naming the audio tracks correctly is also a big plus. This allows you to use the audio mixer and add any audio effect in here, which will be applied to the entire track. Now we used to work with the era plugins from Akusonas, but they sold their company to Facebook or Meta. So we've been working with the stock effects instead lately. There's actually a really good tutorial on our second channel on how to make your voice pop and sound really good. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Now, of course, just like with color grading, every clip needs to be checked individually as well, mostly the gain and the mix. We can switch to the audio layout on the loop deck and easily increase or decrease the gain of a clip. The mix is the individual volume of each track. When there's speech, music should be quieter. Also, the keyframing of the audio voluming goes super fast with the loop deck. We can create the keyframes with the press of a button and and simply dial the volume down. Finally, we export and upload the video to YouTube, another project done in just three days. You can check out the link down below to learn more about the Loop Deck CT. There's also its little brother, the Loop Deck Life. And if you use the coupon CINICOM10, I'll be able to give you 10% discount. So go check that out. Links are in the description down below. Now, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you also want to see the whole process of how we create our effects within three days, well, then let me know in the comments. And as always, Stay creative.